how many songs did you guys record with him before you decided to either start handing out demos or before you started well, we didn't them? do none of that it was just like a one song two song thing and then high power got a hold of me um through that same guy that hooked me up with ai okay uh he had been shopping my shit to capone because they're actually from the same neighborhood okay you know there's this this individual um and he wouldn't tell me at, at like he told me that he shopped to him at first and I keep in this mind I mean, I'm sorry keep in mind at this time I'm uh like I'm I'm like n nothing dude I'm just like a regular fucking kid like fucking like oh shit not even a kid I mean what 19 20 at that time 21 maybe okay 22 and he's listening to it I was like you know I was getting kind of like at that time there's no one like me at this time there's no one like Misfit there's no one like Bozo there's no one like FKM there's no one like Swifty there's no one like any of these motherfuckers that are really on top right now at that time Right. It's only criminal, Capone, and all that shit. And I'm talking like four years ago, three, four years ago. I mean, I know I was one of the first characters to come in, but at that time, I remember that I was just like, "Fuck, this is this is, might be big," you know, like to get my shit out there. And uh, Capone actually liked it, and then uh, I remember hooking up with him. We went to hookah bar, got drunk, signed a fucking contract, <laughs> fucking uh, did my thing. Um, and, and you know what, man? Fuck it, man. I, I, I truly, man. I, I don't, I don't hate on the motherfucker, man. I don't hate on, I don't hate on him for that reason. Uh, you know, I, cause I know everybody wants to. Everybody's always asking me about the Capone situation, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it right here and now and, and get it straight. The reason that me and High Power split up is it was just a, it was just a, I mean, in a way, a bad business deal. But I, I you know, I, I did sign it, but was I right, in my right mind when I signed it? No. But it is what it is. The motherfucker still signed it. So, with that being said, I tried to roll with it. You know, I tried my best to roll with it and, and, and make it happen. Um, and, you know, when, when certain things start coming to, into effect, you know, I, I, my thing is I don't like to be controlled, you know. I, I just, let, just trust me and let me do me, you know. I, I, and my artistry got me to this point, so let me just show you my artistry. And that's something that was a problem where I felt like it was a problem. And, uh, you know, I don't like to be told how to dress. I don't like to be told how to fucking what to say. I don't like to be told how to let me do my thing, man. And uh, for for whatever reason, that 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 was an issue, and so I ended up leaving. And uh, and a lot of other people felt that way too, so they left. And and I I know you guys know the individu individuals that, that, that you know I'm speaking on, but um, do I wish you know do I wish the worst upon them? No, because that shit maybe before I had my son, but. After I, after I had my boy, man, I, I it, it gave me a life check to a point where I'm just trying to be positive, man, and I don't wish a lot of shit on, I don't wish a lot of things on, on a lot of people, you know? Yeah. I, I try to just stay positive and stay in my own lane and worry about myself for my family and, and, and what I got going on and everybody else, I'm not in control of them. And so when it comes to Capone, man, like, hey, straight up, homie, fuck you. But... Like, I don't fucking wish fucking, the, like, crazy-ass death upon your ass or nothing like that. It's just we just had a bad business deal, homie. And if you can accept that shit and keep it pushing, then so can I. And I'm just keep it gangster with you, fool. You know? I, I don't, I, you know, I, I don't fucking go on blast about you. He don't go on blast about me. So it, it just, it is what it is, you know? And I'm, I'm just keep, keep it G like that, you know? Okay. okay. Now, from the time that you signed with him on High Power and the time you left, how long were you there for? Uh, Not even a year. Okay, not, not even a year. year, maybe like six, seven months, eight months. And uh, what were some of the details, if you don't mind me asking, about mm -hmm. the contract? What, was it a, a like album deal? Was it years? Oh um, man, shit, it, it, man. Uh, the first one was like two, three years, and then, and then I came out with Backstreet. So that shit hit, and then he tried to sign me for like six, seven more years. I signed it, but uh, you know, due to certain situations, uh, I'm not under that contract anymore. That shit got evaporated. Okay. Now, so, if I'm correct, your name was Tyrant. Yes, at that time. And and so, um, at, you know, when I was getting into it with him at the time, and I, you know, I'm just keeping it real. I'm keeping it professional with everyone when, I, when I'm speaking right now. I'm just saying that at that time, um, I, I wasn't really able to leave with that name. You know, it, it was more like the name thing, but it was also more like other bullshit he was saying too. But, um, I mean, I get it, you know, You're trying to get in motherfucker's head and shit. I get it. But, uh, my thing was like, well, I'm just going to change my fucking name. Okay. Because I started talking to certain people that have certain power, and they just tell me, like, change your name and don't worry about it. Okay. We'll handle the rest. All right, cool. Change my name. And it, and, it, and it's been cake after that. And, uh, that, man, I, like I said, dog, you know, it is what it is, man. Sometimes people part ways, man, but, you know, I don't I, I don't wish the worst upon anybody. Right. And, uh, shit, man, I wish success to, to even my enemies, dog. Okay. 
I'm just keeping it real with you, Tony, because I, after I had my boy, man, I realized how, how precious life is. And it's been fucking with my head, dog, since my son's been born. Like, just things, I just think a little different now. And yeah. I feel like it's a maturity thing. But, you know, before I would have came on here and I would have talked shit about the guy. I would have fucking crucified him. But at the same time, right now, I'm just, I'm just going to say the truth. And I'm just answering the simple questions that everybody's in my DMs asking. Right. As, professional as, I, as, as professional as I can. And I'm just keeping it real. Oh, good, man. Well, you know what? I think all, that's all everybody wanted. Because I'm tired of getting asked those motherfucking questions. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? And you're settling yeah. the score right here. You yeah. Know? So they don't have to ask you anymore. You know what? Go to Rodian Raider, listen to my yeah, episode exactly. 51, and it's all yeah. there. Okay. That's the past to me. I'm, I'm on, I've been on to bigger and better things, but I'm just... I'm just saying I'm, I'm going to talk about it for like the last time, you know, just to let everyone know what they wanted to know. Maybe some things they knew already, maybe some things they didn't. And, that, and that's okay. it, you know, and then that's when I left High Power and I changed my name. Okay. Now, just to ask you one more question about that, uh, because you told us not it wasn't even a year. Within that year, would you say did anything good possibly come out of that? Yeah. I, and, and, and I can't even lie, man. Yeah. You know, I, I, I got a. I got a couple followers, not a couple. I got I got a cool amount of followers, but by, that's what I mean by a couple. I, I, got, I got hooked up with some followers. I got some music videos out there at that time. Um, and honestly, dude, I was a fucking youngster that was on top, dude. I still kind of feel like that when it comes to the, to, to my age group. Yeah. And uh, that that's one thing that I, that I can't deny is that he did give me that platform at first. But see, when I left, I was told that I wasn't going to be shit. I was told that my shit's going down the drain. And uh, so from from that point on, when I did leave, it was like up to me to to do something of it. Okay. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, there there was some good things that came out of it. You know, I'm not I'm just keeping it honest. Right. You know what I mean? I heard that song, uh, Gardena's Best Kept Secret, come out of there. Yeah. Uh, that's a fucking dope ass song. Thank you. And I saw a lot of people that uh, I don't know how to say. It. I guess they judge the video, they judge the lyrics. It's all over YouTube. People can see it, and they gave you so much fucking love. Uh, uh, for the way you came off on I that. remember I was so fucking drunk that night that I that they, that they posted it and I was like drunk because I had no confidence in it I was like man this shit ain't gonna do shit homie I was like man fuck we'll see what it does probably like like probably like 500 views I remember I was thinking like that probably 500 th 500 views a thousand if I'm like super lucky do you know that shit hit like I don't even remember probably like t almost 20 I remember I remember it hitting 18,000 views when it was 9 o'clock that night and I, I'm pretty sure it passed 20,000 views in one day. Right. right. And, and I was like, damn. <laughs> and I remember, like, my cousin everyone was like, fool, see? Like, see, they ain't ready, homie. Like, you're the youngest fool. Like, shh. Like, don't doubt yourself. You can do big things, fool. Right. And. Dope. Yeah, I just kept on it. Now, before the name Tyrant, did you ever have a different name come, coming up? No. How did you come up with that? Tyrant. Oh. I couldn't find a fucking name, man. I couldn't find a fucking name, and then uh, my my older homies in uh, my older homie from my hood, he his fucking homeboy was like, man, why don't you just call yourself Tyrant? And he, there was a few reasons why he was like, I'm a Tyrant because a Tyrant like he'd be abusing his power, and I was like, all right, yes, yeah, right, that's cool, fuck it, because I couldn't we couldn't find a name for the longest time, you know. Okay. So I, I just chose it like fuck it, you know. And was it easy to find the Cujo, or did you, did you oh, just look up okay, the movie? Okay, say so this is a good story <laughs> how I found Cujo, and it's funny because everyone tells me that Cujo actually fits me like. A thousand times better because my neighborhood's dog town right right fucking uh cujo's a killer dog right i got paws on my face right but it's funny because before that was even in anybody's head cujo right i remember it was me and i'm keeping it honest at that time it was me i was at misfit studio it was me misfit my homeboy wailu right um and i remember we were chilling and then fucking we were thinking about names i was like man i need to my fucking name dog like fuck i want some hard ass shit and then fucking uh, we, I forgot what the I mean I I think I came up with like I should call myself Taz, and they were like, and started laughing and shit. I'm like, yeah, that's stupid, huh? We were coming up with like dumbass names, and then my homie Wiley was like, fool, you should call yourself Cujo, fool, like the fucking killer dog. And at that time, I never seen the movie. And I was like, the fuck. And he showed me a picture and like the preview or whatever. He and I was like, right. that's hard. I was like, fuck it, Cujo. And then Mister was like the savage, and I but I wanted to be called Cujo the Beast. Okay. But then keep in mind that my homeboy is my homie is Baldacci the Beast, so I didn't want to step on toes, you know what right. I mean? But you know, that's someone I look up to too, you know, Baldi and shit. So I was like, oh, I can't copy, you know. So he's like, just Cujo the Savage, fool. Like the negatives will fuck with it too. 
And I was like, Cujo, 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 Cujo. But I was like, I don't like that scene though, 401k, because I be killing shit when I go in. He was like, yeah. And, then, and that's how that was born, and that's just the honest truth. Dope, dope, man. So now you leave High Power. Mm -hmm. and, uh, do you remember what year that was that you left? Uh, like two years ago. Okay. And did you start recording immediately? 